What's up, Madden 25 fans? Welcome to our beginner tip of the week here. And uh, this is a series that I'm going to be doing, and we're going to try to keep it going uh, as long as I can. You know, I, I love doing tips and, tr and tricks and stuff like that, and I feel like sometimes I, I don't give the guys that maybe don't play the game as much as I do uh, an opportunity to really learn the basics of the game. And so what we're going to be doing with our tips now is we're going to break them into three categories. We're going to basically have tips that appeal to the beginner player, which is uh, tips like this, and then we're going to have tips that appeal to more, you know, kind of the average player who has a little bit of a, you know, background in Madden, but doesn't necessarily know all the nuances and, and kind of money plays, and that's where those average tips are going to be. And then the uh, advanced tips is where we're going to be going over a lot more of a, con a teaching conceptually, and we're going to basically be talking a lot about how to, you know, how to stop this by doing this advanced setup. It's going to be a lot more intricate and minor details that we're going to focus on in those videos. But uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty excited about this because I think that it's going to give you guys an opportunity to re, um, kind of reevaluate where you're at. But it's also going to help you because you're going to have content geared toward wherever you're at. And we're going to have playlists and stuff like that. And, and I'm still working on the playlist. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fix them all up nice and neat for you guys. I'm trying to get a, a really good format going before Madden 15 drops. So uh, let me know if, if you like this kind of style about what I'm doing with the tips. Let me know if you liked it the old way where I just kind of put out a tip as, as it came to me and things like that. So just let me know what you guys think. But this tip today is going to be talking about how to read the defense in Madden 25. And... Uh, there's two things that you want to. There, there's one thing that you want to look at when you want to read the defense. The safeties. That's what you want to look at. Okay, so you see here that there's two safeties up top, and let me cycle over to them here. You see that you have McCourty, this guy right here, and you have Wilson. That's up top. Those guys are up top. Then you have these two corners on the outside. They're pressed down. Okay, so that's cover two. So there's three different variants or nuances of cover two that they can call. They can call cover two buck, which is um, which is this where they go through and and they they had this is the cover two buck. Okay, you see how they're in light blue flat zones. They're gonna press on the outside. They can call cover two sink, which is now everybody's gonna be in hook zones over the middle of the field, so those corners are gonna drop back a little deeper. Or they can call two man under, where they're gonna be in man coverage across the board. So there's three different defenses that they can call from this look here okay so this is uh, this is what it would look like if you're trying to read a cover two so you would then have in your head okay what do I have that beats cover two and so what I like to do is I'll typically against cover two I'll send a guy vertical so like this I'll send Olsen vertical I've got LaFell on the far left side if they're man coverage I've got uh, and then if they're in cover two zone I've got this little two man read here between Ginn and Smith and here you see they're in man, so I can deliver the ball to Brandon LaFell on the outside for the uh, catch. Okay, so different things like that that you want to do. Okay, so now let's show you this. Uh, so now we're going to show you cover three, and there's a difference between the alignment. So here you see we go to cover three, and now you see how these corners back off here. You see that now what oftentimes happens is if, if this is a little bit reversed here, so something like this, you see how that safety is going to drop down? Typically that happens, and he's not, not 100%, um, but sometimes he'll drop down. Um, but another thing that you can see here is that these corners are now backed off. Now typically this is going to in instigate cover four or cover three, or cover zero man blitz. Okay. Now how you can tell if it's how you can tell if it's a man if it's uh, more likely to be a man blitz is if you see your opponent kind of bringing guys down into the and down in here to blitz. Okay, but for basic coverage principles, you would want to develop a play that beats a cover three, a cover four, and a, and a, a cover one man. And so something that can beat that really good is by putting Steve Smith here on a smart routed out route, by putting to uh, Ted Ginn on a little hitch route, underneath hitch route, putting Brandon LaFell on a drag route, and then putting um, uh, D'Angelo Williams on a, a streak route. So here, we don't know what we're in. Here we see, okay, post snap, we say, okay, it's a cover three. Let me take my out route on the curl flat read. You know, hopefully you've seen how that works. So those are the two basic principles in reading the coverages. I want to quickly recap it in these two statements. You want to read the cornerback depth, and you want to read the safety high. Okay, so cornerback depth is this. Um, you see how here, they're pressed up. They're, that's their depth. This insinuates a cover two.
Okay, but now watch this. What if they do this? Now what? That sends away to cover two, but if they bring the safety down to get into the box, that makes you think, okay, it's a cover three. Hopefully that makes a sense to you because uh, this is what people will do. They'll user control this safety in the hooks and take advantage of that. Or they're in cover four. What they're going to do is this. Now they're going to have all these guys backed off because they're going to be a four board cross. And typically they're going to user control this middle uh, DB here. Okay, so that's how a cover four would look, uh, typically. And so you, you just want to pay attention to the cornerback depth and then the safeties, what they're doing with the safeties. Are they bringing this safety down or are they bringing this safety down? Typically when they bring the safety down, he's either going to be in a flat or a hook zone. Typically, not always, but typically. And uh, you want to make your adjustments uh, off of that. You want to make you want to adjust off of what your opponent's doing. So back to that previous example, what we think they're in a cover two. They're actually in man, but it was a cover two look. So we had something that can beat man, and we deliver the catch. So that's how we like to read the defense in Madden NFL 25. It will obviously transfer, should transfer for the majority uh, part over to Madden 15. And uh, there's some more nuances and things like that, but we'll talk about that as we progress through the series. But let me, let me know what you guys think about this new series I'm doing, and hopefully you enjoy it.